Hi everyone, good Thursday afternoon and welcome to the Rhode Island State House. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for tuning in for some updates on legislation here on Smith Hill. I'd like to welcome Representative David Bennett for joining us today. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in. Thank you for having me. A couple of pieces of legislation introduced this week pertaining to the environment. First is one to ban styrofoam. Let's start with that. Polystyrene is, I believe, the technical term within the legislation. Styrofoam is the commercial name. Now, Maine did pass this ban. Why do you believe it's needed here in Rhode Island? Well, it's needed everywhere, to tell you the truth. Um, I'd like to see it go across the country. Right now, we're looking at it. Um, to, to ban it, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut, possibly Maryland. We gotta see what the governor does with it. Um, it. It breaks up, never goes away. It just breaks up into small pieces. It floats. Animals uh, eat it. Fish eat it. Um, get stuck in their system, and they end up dying. Um, it's a very nuisance kind of thing, and uh, the um, landfills getting filled. It, we, we got about 15 years left in the landfill. And if we could eliminate all the stuff that's not needed, the, the styrofoam, the straws, the paper plates, the cups, we could save a lot of time on our uh, landfill and plus cleaner environment. So a couple of things. This legislation would have a phase-in period, if you will. It wouldn't happen overnight. Obviously, Maine is grappling with it. Um, industries, coffee shops, people that use it. So is that an important piece to it? So businesses that might use styrofoam mm -hmm. right now, give them that time to say, hey, here's the planning period, but it will be implemented on this effective date. Yes, it'll be entering uh, 2021. Um, some companies, though, are trying to jump ahead of the ball, which is a great thing. Mm. Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, um, I hear Starbucks is looking to get rid of the styrofoams. Um, they make an alternative. All these things I'm, I'm looking at, there's alternatives to use. You know, like the, the plastic steers. Mm. We don't need those. The wood steers work fine, and they, they break up in the environment, and they're gone. Uh, the little steers last for... I think a thousand years or something like that. Um, and it's just very important that we start looking at making use of things that, that are biodegradable, you know, that aren't gonna be here a lot longer than we are. What do you say to those folks that say, you know, I want my plastic straw or I want my styrofoam cup and I don't want the government intervening in my life. I mean, what do you, you've made the case for the environmental case. You've made the case for the landfill. Uh, what would you say to those folks that say this is, this is overreach? Well, I, t I tell them, I tell them to, <laughs> I can't say that. I, no, I would tell them that um, to keep a straw, I, you know, I'm not going to tell them they can't use straws. I don't, have, I don't have a right to do that. But, um, you should be thinking about it. This is your your land too. You know, we all live here. And um, you know, your straw is, we used to use paper. Why Why did we have to go to plastic? Because it's cheaper and easier. And everything's the big money, so. Now I'm sure you've talked with colleagues about this legislation. Do you think it has potential here in Rhode Island? Obviously you're on the House side. Do you think it can get through both chambers and onto the governor's desk? Yes, yes I do. I think people are waking up that they're looking at this stuff. I mean, you know, you're, you're myself, I'm an outdoorsman. I can be out trout fishing and I'll see styrofoam floating down the river. Beautiful Woods River or P Pocatuck River. You know, that, it's not where it belongs, you know, and if we can get rid of it and go into something that's gonna break up, then that's what we should do. Well, I appreciate your taking the time. We did run it on Go Local, but wanted to have you here. Anything else you think folks should know about either the styrofoam legislation or the plastic straw bill? Well, the plastic straws bill is um, very important because they, they get clogged up by drains, you know, and everybody knows we get flooded streets, we get too much stuff in there. Uh, plastics that won't go away. And um, the, straw, the straw bill, I, I was at the vet watching the concert. And they have take take home plastic cups with the screw and you use your thumb to open it up to drink with. Okay. Nobody was complaining. And, and you know, and, and it seems a lot better because you can close it mm. and you don't spill it. So 
There's so alternatives, I, as you said. Yes, a lot of alternatives, and that's what we're going to utilize. Well, I appreciate your taking the time to come on live as we're here at the Rhode Island State House. We're going to be back in just a few moments talking about a statewide proposal to ban plastic bags and why some environmentalists have concerns with it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back here on live in just a few. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel, and would like to thank Representative David Bennett. Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone. We'll see you shortly.